That's it. It's over. Now there's nothing to do but wait, though it shouldn't be long. Perfect. All has gone according to plan. I sense another signal. Cerebral spinal activity. I think he's dreaming. Wake up, Marcus. It's time. Hurry up. We don't have much time. Are you sure you want to go, Lucas? It could be dangerous. We have to go in there ready for anything, Marcus, right? Maybe there'll be an alien spaceship inside, or the tomb of an ancient king, and all of his treasure. Or a giant frozen dinosaur? And what if it's a secret weapon to take over the world? Come on, let's hurry. The hangar's gonna be well guarded. We better get going if we don't want Mom and Dad to catch us. Don't move or I'll shoot! Don't shoot, sir! We're just kids! We're the Kane boys! What the hell are you doing out here at this hour? Get back to your home immediately! You're crazy, Lucas! We're lucky that he let us go. But if he catches us again, they're gonna beat our butts! You do what you want, Marcus. I'm going back! Don't move or I'll shoot! Don't move or I'll shoot! Don't move or I'll shoot! Don't move or I'll shoot!
Don't move or I'll shoot. Don't move or I'll shoot! What the hell are you doing out here at this hour? Get back to your home immediately. Don't move or I'll shoot! Don't move or I'll shoot! Don't move or I'll shoot! Don't move or I'll shoot!
Don't move or I'll shoot. Don't move or I'll shoot. Further. That soldier's blocking the way. One of us should sneak around the back and find a way to avoid him. Wait for Lucas. being seen is to climb up the telephone pole and hang off of the cable. Impossible. That pole is right under the guard's nose. I know, but there's no other way. Listen, I'm gonna try to get him to look the other way. Meanwhile, you run and climb up the pole. I'll try to set it up so you have enough time. Okay, but how are you gonna get in? I'll meet you back at the house. You tell me everything when you get back. At least that way we'll know for sure whether there's a flying saucer in that hangar. It's 
all up to you, Lucas. Hey, what do you think you're doing there? I'm looking for my cat, sir. He ran out of the house. He was on the garbage, but then he got away before I could grab him. You're one of the cane boys, right? Head on home, son. You shouldn't be out prowling around alone at this hour. What about my cat, sir? We'll find him tomorrow. Right now, you go on back home. Is dead, my lords. Good. Very good. Now you must find the Indigo Child as soon as possible. There isn't much time. The visions are becoming clearer and clearer. I've nearly got her position localized. Move quickly. Time is short. The Child must not escape us. The prophecy must be fulfilled. You may leave us. When I got the call, I didn't hesitate for one second. I came without telling anybody, not even Tyler. All I knew is that I was supposed to go to the grave of somebody who'd just been buried that morning. Tiffany Harper, Lucas Kane's ex-girlfriend. She was a good person. She didn't have anything to do with all of this. You got a lot of guts, Mr. Kane. Call my office and ask for a meeting when every cop in the country is hot on your trail. I didn't see that coming. Your investigation has too many shadowy areas in it for you to content yourself with the official version. You're here because you think I might have the answers to your questions. It's weird. No steam comes out of his mouth when he talks, like his breath was already cold. Well then, who is the real killer? I don't know his name. I don't even know if there's anyone alive who does. All that I do know is that he's a Mayan oracle who has the power to erase all memory of his existence from anyone who sees him. The oracle isn't acting alone, is he? He belongs to a secret clan 
who have united the most powerful beings on Earth. Their power has no limit, and they'll do anything to get the Indigo Child. You mean, the Orange Clan? You already know about them? I went to see one of the murderers in an asylum. He talked about the Orange Clan. Oh, this is just unbelievable. But his story is consistent. It seems to fit with what I already know. And you? What's your role in all of this? I was just a random victim of the Oracle. Nothing more. There have been other similar murders, haven't there? The Oracle has been waiting for the Indigo Child for over 2,000 years. But he didn't know when or where she would arrive. So he had to do periodic sacrifices in order to find her as soon as she was born. And your apartment? When we came to arrest you, the walls were covered with ritualistic symbols and articles about the murder cut out of the paper. It was all arranged to make me the ideal suspect. The Oracle and the Orange Clan were behind all that. How did you learn all of this? I just know, that's all. The question isn't whether what I'm saying is true or not. The question is, are you going to help me? Help you? Why should I help you? For the same reason that you agreed to come here this morning without alerting anyone. Because you know I'm telling the truth. Because if we don't do something quickly, the cold will cover the entire planet and there won't be a tomorrow. And even if you're right, what can we do about it? Nobody's gonna believe all this. And if the Oracle really has all these powers, what can we do to stop him? Find the Indigo Child before he does, and hide her someplace safe. Do you know where she is? Not yet, but I'll find her. I see through the eyes of the Oracle during his visions. If he sees her, I'll see her. Oh, this is just insane. I cannot believe I'm actually sitting here talking about saving the world with a fugitive wanted by every police department in the country. You're free to choose which side you're on. You can arrest me, or you can trust me and help me save the child. But you must decide quickly. I haven't got much time. What am I supposed to do? If he's lying, I'm aiding a murderer and I'll go to prison. But if he's telling the truth, I have to help him. <sighs> so, either you're crazy or you're some kind of hero. Neither one nor the other. I was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Almost the entire country is now without water and electricity services. The army has been mobilized to help provide shelter and basic necessities, but the cold and snow have hampered ground movement, and storms have shut down every airport in the country. 
Scientists are still unable to fully explain the reason behind the cold wave which has now gripped the entire planet. Temperatures continue to fall everywhere in the world as authorities ponder. Well, our job is done. Now it's up to the army to do what they can to help the population. Carla, you should get some sleep. You haven't closed your eyes in two days. I have to get warm to do that. I'm solid ice from head to toe. Yeah. Hey, look, can I get real with you here for a sec, Carla? I think it's probably now or never. I get the feeling you're hiding something from me on this cane thing. Am I right? Yeah, you're right. I found him, but I think he's innocent. I didn't say anything because I didn't want to get you involved, Tyler. You mad at me? Nah, of course not. Plus, with everything that's going on now, I guess it doesn't really matter. Anyway, as long as you do what you think is right, you can't go too wrong. There's a train leaving in one hour for Florida. It'll probably be the last one for a long time. I'll be on it, Tyler. With or without you. If you really love me, quit the police and come with me. When this cold stops, we'll get on with our lives. Our new, normal lives. It's time to make a choice, to. Oh, I love you too damn much, Sam. I wouldn't let you go for anything in the world. Oh, Tyler, I was so afraid of losing you. I'll be with you in a minute. Carla, I... As long as you do what you think is right, you can't go too wrong. Good luck in Florida, Tyler. Here we are. Are you sure you know what you're doing? The Oracle's seen the child, just like I did. He'll be here to find her any minute now. I've got to get to her before he does. Wait for me here. I won't be long. to find that girl before the Oracle does. Sir? Sir? You can't go in there! Got to do this quickly. The Oracle will be here any second. Take her to the ones you serve. They'll use her to make slaves out of the entire human race. That's no concern of yours. You'll be dead before that comes to pass. Give me the child. I don't have time to play with you. Mustn't move, understand? I'll be back soon to get you. I hope.
my story ends, I failed. Just before escaping with the Indigo Child, I could have protected her and saved humankind.
that's how my story ends. I failed. Just before escaping with the end of the child. I could have protected her and...
own the child. Agatha? Humanity's fate for the next 10,000 years depends on the fate of that child. A new golden age, peace and security, or the reign of ice, of terror and death. We were right to have chosen you. This child, why is she so important? At the dawn of time, a prophet announced that one day, a child would be born. One whose soul was absolutely pure. She would come and reveal a secret. The answer to all questions. He who possessed this answer would gain unlimited power. Whose side are you on, Agatha? Who are you, really? We wish to keep the Orange Clan from possessing the child would use her to tighten their grip on humanity. We wish to provide her with a safe, hidden home, where no one can ever use her for evil ends. What happened at the amusement park? I don't remember anything after the roller coaster collapsed. You didn't survive the fall. We found your body and we resuscitated you. The truth is that you are dead, Lucas. You brought me back? We have certain expertise that may surprise you. Bringing you back to life was nothing exceptional for us. It was vital that you bring us the Indigo Child, and you succeeded. Now we can put her in a safe place. You've accomplished your mission well. Here she is. Please take care of her. for good. Oh, I forgot one small detail. When we brought you back to life, we added a module within your cortex. It's impossible to kill you, as you are already dead. I can, however, annihilate you. A simple touch from me, and you will be erased forever. There's no use trying to resist. I have control of you now.
How did you find me? That man came and got me. He told me you needed help. Where's the indigo child? What happened? I was stupid. I gave her to Agatha, or rather to whatever thing it was that took her form. I saved her from the Oracle and then turned her over to the ones who'd been manipulating me the whole time. So, what do we do now? Looks like we don't have much choice. Let's follow him. Lucas, you're safe and sound. Marcus, how did you end up here? They came looking for me. They explained everything, Lucas. I know now that you weren't crazy. I hope that you could forgive me for doubting you. I couldn't possibly have known that you were really... What are you talking about? Our host will explain everything. Welcome to the Camp of the Invisibles, Lucas. Come and take a seat by the fire. Who are you? Why did you help us? We are the Invisibles. Since the dawn of time, we've been secretly observing the clans. Our mission is to ensure that the Indigo Child doesn't fall into the wrong hands. What do you know about the Chroma? It's a natural energy force like gravity or magnetism, but it is infinitely more powerful. This force is in you, Lucas. And you've only discovered the smallest part of it. You're the ones who sent me that email on Kirsten, aren't you? And normally, we never intervene directly, but it seemed necessary to help you see that Lucas wasn't really guilty of murder. We thought that you might ultimately help him in his mission. Why has the Oracle committed all those murders? The prophecy announced the coming of the Indigo Child, but didn't specify when or where she would be born. That's why the Oracle did the ritual sacrifices, in order to touch the wave and Listen to the coming of the child. Seven murders every seven years for nearly two thousand. And this cold, what role does it play in all of this? The cold is the final countdown of the prophecy. If the indigo child hasn't delivered her message before everything is frozen by the cold, then the human race do. Up there, it's the apocalypse. The entire planet is paralyzed by the cold. In just a few days, no one will be able to resist the cold, and it'll be all over. What is the message of the prophecy? It announces the birth of the indigo child. The child will have the answer to all questions. And the one who hears her message will have access to infinite power. But if the child has not been heard before the final countdown, humanity will cease to exist. So, what do we do now? We must find the Indigo Child as quickly as possible. 
I suppose that they will bring her to a Chroma source. That's where she will deliver her message and fulfill the prophecy. Where do we find this Chroma source? There are only three known to exist on the planet. The closest can be found on an old military base called Wishita. Wishita? That's where I was born. My parents were scientists. They were working for the government. Ah, that explains many In the 50s, an artifact was discovered that was not of human origin. It turned out to be a chroma source. The one who brings the indigo child will have ultimate power for the next 10,000 years. We absolutely must get there in time to stop them. When do we leave? In two hours. The time it'll take to finish preparations on your vehicle and to find you enough gasoline. It seems likely that the orange and the purple clans will be waiting for you at Kushida. You must do whatever it takes to prevent them from uniting the child with the artifact. There are some mattresses in the wagon back there. I suggest you get some rest before you have to leave. You have a long journey ahead of you. Tomorrow may well be the last day. I'm dead tired, Carla. I'm gonna take Bogart's advice and get some sleep. I don't think I can sleep right now. I'm gonna wander around a bit and join you later. Still not asleep? No, I can't seem to relax. It's hard to believe that it's all going to end tomorrow, isn't it? The fields, the forests, the cities, everything will disappear under the ice. And what's going to happen to us? It'll be like we never existed, like, like nothing important ever happened. Are you afraid to die? Not anymore. If we're both going to die tomorrow, I want you to know something. I... I'm sorry that we didn't meet under better circumstances. Maybe if things had turned out differently.
He knew the hangar was going to burn, John. I'm sure of it. But he wasn't the one who started the fire. Look, Mary, that's just not possible, and you know it. Nobody can see things before they happen. That artifact emitted a kind of radiation that we still don't understand. Maybe it changed something in Lucas. That's nonsense. We analyzed everybody who ever came near that thing, and they all checked out fine. Don't you see? If it was the artifact, then we'd all be radiated, and we'd all There's have powers. There's a difference, powers. John. I was pregnant with Lucas when I went for the first time. Lucas was radiated by the artifact when he was still in the womb. This is just ridiculous, Mary. I've heard enough. I'm going to take a walk while you calm down. Lucas? What are you doing there? Lucas? Lucas? seems abandoned. Looks like we got here before the Oracle and the Purple Clan. They're not far away. I sense their presence. Be careful. I need you. If I'm not back in 15 minutes, go back where we came from. Bogart will protect you. Give me the child. You are even more obstinate than we had thought you would. But the game is over. You and your race have lost. Your inferior species will disappear like the dinosaurs before you. We, the artificial intelligences, will be the new dominant race on this planet. Thanks to the secret of the child, we will know all. We will be more powerful than gods. I'm the one who gave it to you. And I'm going to be the one who takes it away from you. You are forgetting one small detail. There is a module in your cortex that allows us to control you. You are our puppet human. Now dance.
save your woman, or you save the child. Make your choice. Leave Kara alone. She's got nothing to do with all of this. Come and take me on if you've got the guts. I'm going to make you a very generous proposition, Lucas. If you give me the child, I'll give you your life. You can live in our new world. I don't want to live in your new world. You're going to turn all of humanity into slaves to serve the interests of your clan. Well, actually, that is our plan. I'll give you five seconds to change your mind. After which, I kill your woman, and then I kill you. Make your choice. Don't give him the child, Lucas! The cold went away just like it had come, in silence, as if the indigo child had turned the hourglass by delivering her message. Everything was just as it was before. I guess that means the lesser evil. The Oracle and the Orange Clan went back to their places of power in the secret government of the world, and the Purple Clan went back to haunting us on the net. I should be happy, I guess. I've been living with Carla for three months. She's the best thing that's happened to me in a long time. Yesterday, she told me that she's pregnant. Must have been that night in Bogart's underground base. That means that our child was radiated by the chrome at Rashida, just like I was in my mother's womb. I don't know what's going to happen now. I'm the one and only keeper of the greatest secret in the universe. What should I do with all that power? Forget it? Put it in the service of humanity? I've never dreamt about I just want to live my life like anybody else, with my wife and my child. I'm afraid that destiny might have another path in mind for me. What are you thinking about, Lucas? Oh, nothing. Nothing at all.